Hello YouTube! So you might remember a few years ago I made a video about my experience getting sorted on Pottermore. As anyone who knows me will tell you, I spent most of my formative years stalwartly aligned with Slytherin. It was shocking, confusing, and a little upsetting actually when Pottermore revealed my true nature. I've spent the better part of the last three years coming to terms with this, and I know I've said this before, possibly even in another video, but had I been sorted at 11 rather than 23, I still believe I would have been a Slytherin. And if I had been sorted into Slytherin, I would have been socialized as a Slytherin, and I would be a much different person today than I am now. But as much as it pains me to say this, I'm not a wizard, I did not go to Hogwarts, and so that's not what happened. And my time in this fandom, in this community, at cons, on YouTube, on Tumblr, has 100% turned me into a big, mushy, loves everyone and slides down a rainbow Hufflepuff. I don't know how it happened, it just did, and now I'm actually pretty okay with it, so here I am. So for today's video and in honor of Pottermore's House Pride Week, which I totally missed because it was last week, 10-ish reasons as to why I've come around to being okay with being a Hufflepuff. I don't have to sleep in the dungeons anymore because this is the first time I've gotten a suntan in years. One of our attributes is that we work hard. Nothing is sexier than a hard worker. Everybody knows that. I'm just gonna be honest, snakes are kind of gross and I would much rather cuddle with a badger. 24 hour access to the kitchens. People in Hogsmeade don't just automatically assume I'm gonna steal stuff anymore. I never have to talk to Crab and Goyle again. Pretending to be friends with them to get into parties was exhausting. We had our bats before he was cool. The Fat Friar is by far the coolest house ghost. Nearly Headless Nick is always whining. The Grey Lady is sort of depressing and I wouldn't be surprised if the bloody Baron actually killed a kid. Meanwhile, the Fat Friar is just sort of like, sup dudes, chillin' here at Hogwarts, just hit me up for any sweet shindigs. All right, homies, peace. The whole dating pool has kind of opened up now that I'm not just limited to purebloods. We're freaking nice. We're the friendliest, most decent house of them all. House drama is like a non-issue in our common room. Not to mention that our parties have to be the biggest. While all the other houses are like, hmm, we only take the best, who should we invite? Hufflepuff's just like, everyone's invited, BYOB, let's do this! At the end of the day, regardless of whether or not we're talking about canon or the real world, Hufflepuff is the butt of a lot of jokes. But remember that when you're drinking your free butter at the Hufflepuff mixer. Oh, what's that? You didn't you didn't realize this this was a Hufflepuff party? Maybe you should check the invitation. It was yellow and everyone got one. I don't even play Pottermore anymore, but I'm really happy that they're out there still encouraging us to talk about what our proverbial Hogwarts houses mean to us. Slytherin is a great house too, don't get me wrong. I know I poked fun, but I had a lot of fun representing that house for as many years as I did. But Hufflepuff totally encapsulates the kind of person that I want to be. I think that using the Hogwarts house models as a way to continue to better ourselves is a really great thing to take with us into the rest of our lives. So what house are you? Let me know why you're proud of that in the comments below. Well, that is, if you can find the comment section through the fog machines and the wizard house techno blasting through the speakers. Sorry, Hufflepuff's party hard. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.